But we now cross over to the National Assembly where Tourism Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza is facing the National Assembly Committee on Tourism and Wildlife on her conduct during a conference held in Jamaica. Let's cross over and listen in. Person. I think I got in touch with the chair when I was in uh, Jamaica and we discussed about the issue. I apologized and we agreed that I will be here today so that uh, we can uh, work together and we can seek concurrence on the deliberation that they have had this morning in my absentia. Allow me to commend this uh, honorable committee uh, and chair for the great work they've done. We began discussing when I was in Jamaica and you would hear their heartbeat and their passion for this ministry. And I want to say that I have the right committee on board because uh, this is the speed we need and this is uh, the momentum we, mean we need for this uh, uh, ministry. Coming back to the budget today, I want to concur with what the chairman has said and the committee as a whole, that he did. The Minister of Tourism, when we talk about development budget, we're talking about actually traveling and marketing. And so this ministry is actually a part B of Foreign uh, Affairs Ministry, because we do, we are, our main agenda and mandate is to market Kenya globally, regionally and at domestic level. And that's why when we talk about our uh, domestic budget, it's not on uh, development, it's not on building or infrastructure per se, because we are anchored and we, we have so many other ministries who serve as our enablers, like Ministry of Transport, who are doing the roads within the parks, and also uh, Ministry of Trade, who are also working with us. And so, um, Allow me to say that uh, as indeed I sit in the cabinet and you understand where we are as a country. We're really not doing very well economically. And we sought uh, ways of saving from our ministries here and there. Uh, and uh, we decided that you're going to have a cut in all, across all ministries, not only the Minister of uh, Tourism, but across all ministries. But as you know, sometimes uh, the cut is, uh, the cut is uh, given to a ministry like uh, Minister of Tourism that majorly, if you look at the development uh, budget that was cut, 200 billion, which is more on traveling, and we have no money actually to travel out there and market. And that means that the ministry will be at any length uh, crippled for the operations. And therefore, I want to concur with the chair and the honorable uh, committee members that he did. Um, this ministry is very vital. This is a ministry that brings 10% of uh, GDP, GDP of this country. It is a ministry that is employing more than 1 million people in this country. And therefore, uh, if we fund this ministry well, then it means that uh, we're going to generate more re forex uh, revenue for this country. And we are actually going to be in a position to rescue our economy as a country. I'm just looking at our performance in the last few months. Four months I've been in the office. And actually, I found the ministry at a level of only attracting 800 tourists, international tourists. Today, within four months, we are talking about 1,486,000 uh, uh, tourists flowing in this country, not even mentioning the hundred have come with this morning in KQ from US and from Jamaica. And therefore, this is one ministry. For me, I believe this is the ministry to rescue the economy of this country. And if we, we fund it well, believe me, our work is only to sell Kenya as a premier destination in Africa. 
and you know how Kenya is an authority matters tourism and matters wildlife and I believe that uh, I want to concur with what uh, uh, Chair said and honorable members that you did even as you pursue to table the budget today um, in the afternoon we plead with you that you'll argue our case we, we, we're not looking for this money for luxury but we're looking for this money to unlock the foreign uh, the forex revenue that is out there and i believe this is a this is a ministry that can uh, can really unlock that and uh, if we have managed to reach also in terms of revenue i would love to say that we are doing very well because we are almost now eating where we were pre covid 2019 this ministry had attracted 246 billion Today, when I came in, the ministry was at um, the ministry was at around 119. Today, as per this report that we will table tomorrow, we are at 268 billion. You know, and I believe that. Uh, sorry. I believe that uh, within the next uh, two, two months or so, within the next two months or one, we'll actually overtake where we were uh, in 2019, besides even the numbers being low. 2019, we... Tourism Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza putting her defense before the National Assembly Committee on Tourism and Wildlife on her conduct during a conference in Jamaica. My colleague Kevin Washira is on that bit. Be sure to catch up with him in our subsequent bulletins for events as they have unfolded.